Welcome to the Java Revisited YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to learn how to connect Java to MySQL. You can either use your MySQL on your system and access it through localhost or a service like DB for free. This service will enable me create a database online and connect to it using a link. This is actually how you will connect with a MySQL in the real world. Now, before we get started, we have to download our MySQL connector for Java and the name of that one is Connector J. So select your operating system. I am using a Mac. So I will just choose the platform independent version. And it's not a big file. You can just download it. Then we're going to use it in our IntelliJ because it's a dependency that we need. In our file, we go to project structure. Then we go to libraries. Then click the plus sign, click Java. Then go to the folder. It's in my downloads folder and I click OK. Yes. So we have this added. Let us go to the PHP my admin. Now I want to create a new table in this database. The name of the table is called lesson. It will have two columns and the columns will be name and topic. So we have column name, column topic. Let us insert some values into this table. I will insert interface for a name, Java for topic, extend for name and Java for topic. When we browse, we should be able to see how it looks. Now we want to connect and get that value through Java. We have the statements we want to execute, which is select star from lesson. Remember that lesson is the name of the table. Then we have the connection URL, which states the URL of where we want to connect to. Normally this could be localhost if your MySQL is installed on your system. And the last text there is the name of the database. We use try with resources and we get connection using driver manager. We insert the connection URL. We insert the username and then the password. Then we get a prepared statement and execute it. Now we have our values in RS, which is a result set. And we can loop through the result set using the column name. For each result set, we get the name and topic. Remember in the table, we have name and topic. And after getting name and topic, we print it out. Of course, we have our catch statement in case anything goes wrong. When we run this, we should see the name and table we have online. And of course we see it. Inheritance, Java, extend Java. And this is exactly what we have in our PHP my admin dashboard in our website. So this is actually connecting to a remote MySQL database, not just the one we have here. Now, assuming you didn't do this and you had your local host, everything remains the same. The only difference is that this will be in your system and instead of DB for free, it will be local host. Of course, the 3306 represents the port that we're going to connect to. So we're connecting to local host through port 3306, which is the common port for connecting with MySQL database. So this is how we connect to MySQL database and you can do a lot of query going forward. If you have any question or doubt, 
make them known in the comments and remember to like and share this video.